Hi, I'm Lee. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making Kima Dai Payolza, I think, in Indian. I've got the pronunciation completely wrong, but what it translates to is curried minced lamb with onions and we serve it with basmati rice. I made it for the first time only a few weeks ago and Mike has asked me to make it again. He really enjoyed it. So let's get cooking. This is the ingredients. I'll leave all the measurements in the description. So we've got three large onions and I've tried to cut them as thin as possible. I cut them in half and then I finally cut them into thin slices. I've got three medium sized tomatoes just chopped up roughly. I have one tablespoon of ginger, freshly grated ginger. You can also use it out of a jar. I have one big clove of garlic. I have two tablespoons of yogurt, just plain yogurt. I have a half a kilo of lamb mince. We have ghee. Look, you can use oil, but ghee is really great in Indian food. I just love it. And then some salt. And the spices we have is coriander powder, garam masala, cumin, turmeric, and cayenne pepper. And also I'm gonna make some basmati rice. So I've got a heavy based pan on the stove top and I've had it warming up for a couple of minutes. And now I'm gonna put about three tablespoons of ghee into the pan. Right, so if I just put a little bit of water in, and it goes like that. It's time to put the onions in. I'm only putting a third of the onions in the pot. And what I'm going to do is fry these over a high heat until they're lovely and brown. And then I'm going to remove them. So this will take about oh, eight to 10 minutes. Oh, I forgot, at this stage I add a teaspoon of salt. Now as the onions are frying, if you feel that the heat's too high, just turn it down a little bit. You'll have to stir it quite frequently during this period so they don't burn. But we'll keep on going, it's only been a few minutes. So it's been about eight minutes and the onions are exactly how I want them. They're beautiful and golden brown. So I'm going to get them out and drain them. And I wish I had a perforated spoon because I want to leave the ghee in there. We're going to use them later. Then while the ghee is still hot, goes in the rest of my onions. I'm just going to turn my heat down slightly and I also add the ginger and the garlic and I'm going to fry that until it has some lovely golden brown colour as well and I'll stir most of the time. So the onions have been frying for about five minutes, onions, garlic, ginger and salt and they're lovely and soft and got a nice brown colour and now I add the 500 grams of minced lamb. And it's still over a moderately high heat. So I'm going to fry this lamb until it changes colour and it's no longer pink. So not long, doesn't take long. So the lamb has been cooking just for a few minutes and it's helping to deglaze all that flavour in the bottom of the pan. And there's no traces of pink and it's all broken up, a bit like a bolognese sauce. And so now I add the spices one teaspoon of garam masala, one teaspoon of turmeric for colour and taste, one teaspoon of coriander powder, oh, a bit flew away, I'll put a bit more in, one teaspoon of cumin powder, and just about a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I'll give that a stir, stir the spices in, let them bloom for a moment, so 30 seconds or so. Oh, smells divine. <laughs> now in with the three tomatoes that I chopped up earlier. two tablespoons of yogurt and just about two tablespoons of water. Now I'm going to stir that all together and bring it to the boil and then I'm going to put the lid on and cover it tightly and simmer it gently just for about 10 more minutes and that's it. In the meantime I'll put my rice on. I've already brought the water to the boil. I'll add some salt much like pasta, rice needs salt. Then I'll add basmati rice. Bring it to the boil and boil that for about 12 minutes and then everything should be ready about the same time. It's been 10 minutes. 
I'll open the lid. It smells amazing. Oh, how good does that look? Oh, that's ready. Beautiful. So I'll just drain the rice and then I'll plate up. Some lovely dasmati rice. And there's some fried onions that I fried at the start. Mike doesn't like coriander, so I'll put a bit of fresh parsley on here, which is a good substitute for people who don't like coriander. And that's it. So delicious. <laughs> okay, but I have to confirm that. So I'll just take a spoonful. No, oh, that is so yum. <laughs> it's different, it's fresh. It's just delicious. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.